Hey planners, this is what's up. It's Snow and this is Snow by the Day and we're going to be here for our first spread in my new Air Country Petite Planner. Um, I've already did my monthly and now it's time to do my um, first spread. Now it's very obvious that the spread is very is being uploaded very late. I did it a while ago, but um, you know life happened. And one thing that I want to do in 2020 is just be aware of my body and be in control of my body and not allow my body to take over my life. So um, I do anxiety really, really bad, y'all. Like when it hits me, it hits me tough and usually I get overwhelmed when I have a lot of ideas and I feel like I cannot um, take them out of my mind and make them tangible or like when I have a lot going on so um, when I start seeing myself spiral out of control already and it wasn't even we weren't in 2020 yet I had to be like hey you need to pump your brakes you have two weeks off from school because I'm a teacher and you've been wanting this and you've been needing this. I was in graduate school for two classes and I'm the department chair on top of my teaching duties and case management duties. I deserve that break and I deserve to not be stressed out, especially being stressed out because I'm causing myself to be stressed out. Are y'all following me? Does it make sense? So because I know that I have anxiety, I need to start taking the steps to control it or at least snap myself out of that spiraling, you know, um, actions of being anxious and feeling like I have so much to do. So I have to take stuff off my plate sometimes just so I can calm my mind down. Now, when it comes to snow by the day, this is something I'm very passionate about. The planner community is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, and I'm also a perfectionist. I'm also type A. So like when I'm trying to do something, I go hard. I have ideas and I don't always have the time or the mental capacity to get everything done when I want it to get done. So when it comes to snow by the day, I might ghost you guys, but just know if I ghost, I'm always going to come back. I just need that personal time to reflect and get my mind back together so I can be the best planner sister for y'all and I can be the best person that I can be. There's only one snow. And if I go and crash and burn myself, y'all, snow will be gone. So I hope that makes more sense. So sometimes when I like, I'll be going hard. Y'all see me uploading. Y'all see me posting on Instagram. You know how I am in them stories, y'all. I be going ham because I be having fun. But sometimes, you know, anxiety gets the best of me. But even though anxiety is probably never it might not ever go away i can at least be in control of it and i can be like hey i'm not going down that road i need to take a step back so i was really con like nervous about if i wanted to share um about my anxiety because hey who wants to talk about their flaws but i also have to think about my planner sisters um who may also deal with anxiety and don't know how to talk about it or don't feel comfortable talking about it so yeah sometimes you have to put yourself out there just so other people don't feel alone because i know with the planner community is one thing like we're all trying to get stuff done um we're all trying to start up businesses we're all trying to find we're finding ourselves and we're finding our talents and stuff through these planners and we're getting stuff done and we're accomplishing goals but sometimes like that can have pressure like I didn't finish my to-do list today you know and that's something that I really try not to fill up my to-do list just because Aaron Condren gave me 50 11 bubbles on that to-do list does not mean that I need to fill every one of those lines up it's not necessary I really try to have like top three to top five and then I move on with the next day and if I don't get it done I don't get it done but that's how anxiety can like build up if you um, set these um, what is it called like standards that are not unrealistic standards um, and so I cannot do that to myself y'all I had to brain dump I brain dumped everything that I was thinking about and I left it on that paper and I always go back and reflect on, okay, what's the next thing that you would like to do because no, you cannot do them all. So um, that might be another uh, suggestion for anybody who does suffer with anxiety and you feel like you have like racing thoughts or you have like so many ideas and you just can't get it done. I wanna thank y'all for y'all understanding and let me know if you feel the same way in the comments below. Deuces.